So I have been busy sewing um, for the past, I don't know how long. So anyway, I have the back of her done. This is all dried, two different colors. I'm showing you detailing. This looks like leather or um, porcelain almost. So this is the back of her dress. Mm -hmm. This is an original design. I did not print it on paper. I cut it, I went and did it. This is why I always tell people, if you're going to make dolls, if if you're going to do painting, take classes. It's If you are going to be making dolls, if you're going to be repainting them, it's worth the investment. You are investing in yourself as an artist and as a designer to take those classes from professionals and create this. So here's the back of her dress. I'm zooming in so you can see the flowers. Coming out so you can see the double trim of lace. Underneath, yes. Underneath her dress, we have her petticoat um, with larger lace underneath, and they're her bloomers, as you all know. Now, moving over to the side, see the nice flow? See how the petticoat and bloomers make the dress have a more open flow? Um, she has lace around. This is with, um, I have elastic. So I have elastic with lace here. Um, I'm turning her around slowly. There she is from the front with all of her lace. Um, everything is done. Everything is sealed, painted, her boots. Now you understand the shape of her body. Now you see how it comes full circle. Now you understand the shape of the body that I had to give her. So she is now finished. There are her boots. I am gonna, I, I talked to Raphael just a moment ago about adding the um, lace here and I do not want to put nothing permanent on these boots because the detailed painted simplicity is what makes her look so authentic. Um, but yes, I'm about to work on her apron. I did this here double lace through here. Look at the hair. So the hair is painted. I used a darker color then I went through with the lighter color with the braids to give her two different colors. You see how she shines in the light? That is nicely polished. This is how you take fabric and make it look like porcelain. So this is a work of art. Um, this is something that has almost pretty much died, almost non-existent in the doll making world. But dolls like this were made way back when for kids, little kids to play with and to set on their beds and to enjoy and to take around everywhere. They were well beloved because even though they did not have hair to play with, the way they looked, the way they were dressed was just more than enough to keep a child happy. So I'm about to work on her skirt. I'm setting her down. I mean, I'm sorry, skirt, apron, her apron. I forgot to iron the pieces on first. I'm hoping they don't fall off, but here are the appliques. I need to iron these on. I'm missing one and it dropped somewhere. I will find it. So I have to go find the iron and iron these on. As for her apron, let me set that down. I have double layered lace around here at the bottom. Trim lace and then a double layer. So you can see that from behind. It's double laced across the bottom. This is going to be her apron. Yes, she is going to have an apron, and I am going to make the straps. So I found the other piece of the applique. So as you can see, this has the colors of her dress. These colors are found in her dress. So with the white apron, double layer of ruffle, it is going to tie it all in together and make it into a masterpiece. So right now, I'm double folding the ends of this. It looks wide, but... Trust me, it's not when I'm finished. So now I'm going to sew it. I am going to finish both dolls tonight. Yes, this doll is pretty much done. The other one, I all I have to do now is make her dress over there. I'm going to be making her dress tonight. And I'm also going to be sewing her hair on her head. This is double folded and sewn for the back. The other side is going to be done the same way. Um, this really is the kind of video for people who enjoy sewing, who enjoy making homemade dolls from home. 
Uh, as you can see, and if you look back, you will see how long it has taken me to make these dolls. This is a process. It is a very long process. Quality is everything. That is something that's always been important to me was quality. So Raphael, I have your dolls done. And so let me fold this like this. just watching the Barbara Mandrell um, thing live and I was watching it through Facebook. Wow, um, she, I, I loved her voice. She did not sing, what in the world? She didn't sing. Carrie Underwood sang, um, C.C. Winans, Linda Davis, and Susie Baga, Bagas. Forgive me if I do not pronounce that correctly. They did an amazing job singing just a few songs. It would have been nice for her to close it with her singing her song like when I was country. Country wasn't cool. And that's what people do. You know, she said what she said in that song still stands today. And uh, heck. so it's raining here. Okay, I have to open this up and see what is going on. Or what is inside the sewing machine? Like what in the world? Okay, that does go like this and this. I'm finishing up this doll's journey. What in the heck is going on with this darn thing? Why is that not doing right? I rethreaded the bobbin correctly. Does, do I should I change do I need to change the needle? Is this thing right? I am this far from my sewing machine and I just put the thread into the needle like that. Alright. So I'm doing this old fashioned style like that. I'm making homemade straps for the apron because I'm going to end up double folding this to make the apron. If you're creative in any kind of way, paint, 
sewing, whatever. Do it. Use that distraction for yourself. First, I gotta find the iron and glue, I mean, sew on the applique. And I'm gonna do it in the chair I'm sitting in. So let me flip my cat blanket over. No, so I'll fold it the other way because I washed it before I put it down. Okay, there we go. All right. So let's get these things put on here where I want need them to be. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, this one just got out of the Okay, that works. And I'm going to take this and put it up against the bed and put it on top and put this little flower going on. Okay, I'm going to grab my iron. Well, it's not hot. I'm going to sew them on, which probably come up, that would be probably better in the first place. And I'm not familiar with doing that, so here we go. I'm sewing the next on. Alright, so I'm going to turn my camera around in a moment. Well, I'm not turning around, I'm zooming down here. And let y'all get more of a look at what I'm doing. Let me see, take it down. What is that? Okay. All right, let's see what happens. Let me come out a little bit. Because you'll be able to see it going right in the back. Oh, there's a lot of lace. Okay, at least I get to show the artistic side of what I do. 
and the doll making classes that I took are now at least they're showing what I learned to do. So that's a good thing. Now I'm doing this a certain way like that because I want them to I don't I'm not necessarily doing it. I want to give it some shape to work with the apron. Awesome. Okay, done deal. There. Now, as you can see, it's sewn on. So it's not coming off. Which is probably better. Sometimes if you do an iron-on, heat, things like that can make it come up later down the road. If you sew it on, hey, it's permanent. Now with this video, if you're a part of the membership program, you are able to respond and comment. Um, it's also important for me to take time to encourage you to do so. See? There's the applique. It's sewn on and a nice design. All right, so let me find me a smaller one. There we go. There are a lot of great perks that come with this because it gives you extra protection for yourself, spamming, all of that stuff. Oops, and then I pulled the thread out. Okay. to get this a zigzag line. Pet three. Okay. show it to you momentarily. Cut that. All right, let me see. Okay, that's gonna look good. These are see, aren't they pretty? So this is the best thing I could ever recommend anyone to do. If you are creative, if you have creativity in you, in your genes or what have you, this is what you do. Be creative. Instead of spending people spending energy to be a bully and to be a pain in the butt, why not take your energy and do something positive? Take a negative and make something good out of it. Focus on something. And if you don't have the talent to do that, then you just need to be off the internet, period, instead of trying to make people miserable. Period. I'm sorry that I read you. That I read somebody. Oh, wait, oh, I guess I have to just get over it, huh? Okay. Perfect. 
All right, here we go. Now I'm going to do the last piece, and I'm going to do it just right there. So we have an embroidered design that's going to be on her apron. Whoopee! Zoom out in a minute. Um, I couldn't resist. Uh, for me, it was I gotta get these dolls done tonight. I have to have them done tonight so they can go to Arkansas on Monday. All right, we're gonna zoom out. There we go. So here's some my detail. Here's the skirt, embroidered, a pleat done. Double lace bottom. All right. Okay, there we go. So I'm drawing my camera up like this. So I'm going to work on the straps. I'm turning. I can turn this like this. Isn't that pretty? It looks so pretty. Imagine, you know, back in the, I think grandmothers used to take pillowcases and they would make them with this beautiful trim lace and they would do hand stitched embroidery on pillowcases. I think they still do that. Country, country, country mamas, country mamas. Yeah, country. Okay, so with this, we're going to end up having it gathered, shrunk up. And let me see. Yep, I'm going to start it from there. And we're going to have this all gathered up immensely to about right there. So I need to pull this out a little bit more. Up oh, there we go. Yep, that's going to do it. So I'm going to have it tightly gathered this mm -hmm. oh my god you know what I think I'm better off if I open it gather it first and then set it down together uh, that's gonna be the best deal okay oops uh, put that back on free just like this okay perfect all right so now I'm going to start gathering the skirt, I mean the, um, sorry, it's an apron. Um, I don't know if you enjoy tarot readings, but my dear friend Brittany Snow, tarot readings. She's on TikTok. You can check her out. She's really good. She's the real deal. Whether or not you believe in it, mm-hmm. I tell you what, put your money where your mouth is and you'll find out how real or not she is. Because let me tell you something. She will give you the truth. She's not going to sugarcoat it. She's not going to tell you what you want to hear. She's going to give you some facts. And no, I'm so not exaggerating on that. Um, I'm trying to get her to come to YouTube, but right now, I mean, she's got 4,000 some people up on TikTok. Her stuff is real. I mean, it will blow your mind just watching her tell people stuff. It, uh, to me, I told her, I said, you know what? I said, you do the same thing in churches. They call people like her a prophet. Seriously. Um, so I think people who do terrors, I think it's pretty much about the same thing, to be honest. It's just called something different. That's it. Todos bien? Oh, okay. That's Eric's father. It's okay, not in the butt of it, it's still in YouTube. Quien sabe dónde está o qué está haciendo. So, there's the apron. Mira. Oh, ahí está la muñeca y ahí hizo su vestido. Mira, eso lo voy a tener puesto. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
Eso es que pasa con el bebé con su abuela la mayoría de su vida. <risa> Te prende a coser. I was saying, this is what happens when you stay with your grandmother a lot, when you're little, you don't have a style. Sí, um, todo. Esa cosita puede ser todo. Pero e esos son compradas. Sí, se si venden en um, Hobby Lobby, en Hickory, o um, hay unas en Walmart, yo creo. Sí. doble para que ya no se ve nada de eso y se ve más profesional y más bonito. Esas cosas no se prenden en la calle. <risa> Mujeres de la calle no prenden a hacer esas cosas. Puse tatuajes, mucha gente dice mujeres de tatuajes son uh, ladrones y cosas así. Yo tengo tatuajes porque cuando yo tenía mi accidente de carro, el vídeo donde se quebraran me cortara. Entonces me puse tatuajes para que no se note donde yo fui cortada. Ya la puede ponerlo. Esto puesto. And then it's done. All I gotta do is put her apron on. Now we're gonna put her apron on. Okay, so here we go. Ah. Ah, mira cómo está todo eso. Y aquí abajo también. Ya se ve bien cuando ya está terminada y lista. Here we go. Done deal. Nice and tight. Huh? Esta ya, de la muñeca ya está vendida. Esta y otra también. Y estos dos ya están. That's it. Ahí está. Oh, look at that cinched waist. Ahí está, una muñeca como adorno con mucho detalle. Mira, eso está pintado en la cabeza. Un proceso de seis semanas. Sí. He's impressed because it took me six weeks. So here she is. She's a done deal. She's ready. Raphael, I hope you thoroughly enjoy your doll. I hope you think she's beautiful. I can't wait for you to see her in person. That little bitty waist, and look at all that big flow. And look at these little legs. Look at that, very well done. So I hope you enjoy her for many years. Um, yep, so her apron is now completed and done with double lace. Lots of layers, lots of lace, lots of lace. Um, so now you can see her from the back, the way her apron is done and everything. So she can sit down on her caboose anywhere you want her, have a special chair made for her. She has now been completed. She is done. So I hope you all have enjoyed her. Tomorrow I will give her a photo shoot to have for my records and also to have to show um, as blueprint. I forgot to sign her, but so yeah. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful apron. I mean, it just sort of seals the deal, so to speak, you know? There she is. And she's got her panties all of it. 
So I hope y'all have enjoyed this long, long journey of love that it has taken me to make this doll. Everything from designing her pattern, sewing her pattern, filling her, stuffing her, sealing her up, and then creating this amazing masterpiece look with layers and layers and layers of gesso that took me three to four weeks to do the layers on this. And oh my gosh, waiting for it to dry and then to paint it. So she is now a done thing. She's completed. She's done. She's got her apron and everything. Now she's ready to simply go um, to Arkansas. Yep. And an amazing yarn, and it looks like plastic or porcelain. And you all saw me do the work, so my work is here. Um, for me, my YouTube, it doesn't just give me a platform to discuss the inner core of the things, the scars on my soul, but it also gives me a platform to show you the artistic side of me. For me to, this is how I release stress and pressure. This is also how I relate. I release stress and pressure. <laughs> but yes, she is a done deal. Look at those eyes. It's all hand painted. All of this was hand crafted, hand painted, stitched with a sewing machine, and done. This is an uh, exclusive Selena original, and she has been completed. Now I'm going to simply pull out the other doll. I'm going to design her dress. I'm going to cut it. I'm going to cut it out as a design. So now I'm going to do the other doll by cutting out her dress and we're making it. And then after that, hopefully I'm in the mood. I will sew her hair on. For me to sew her hair on, I will do that live tonight. So we'll see what happens. But in the meantime, I want to say thank you all for joining me on this journey. These past six weeks have been what I call a labor of love not with a doll. It's been um, very tough on me mentally, emotionally, and physically with the things that I've had to endure and at the same time provide a level of professionalism to do with my craftsmanship, with my work as an artist. Yeah, she shines like porcelain. The eyes have green to pull out the colors in her dress. Ta-da! So there she is. I'm sorry I'm holding her by her neck. There. Alright, so thank you for watching this. I'm going to go for now. And I'm going to start cutting out the other doll's dress pattern. Because she's going to have lace sleeves. Um, she's going to have quite an original dress. So, this one, I'm going to sit her on the couch. She's ready to go. Yep. Oh, I forgot. I have to autograph her. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So, she has... Let me see. Oops. Her dress is fully layered. Okay. She has the petticoat fully layered. She has her bloomers. Where is a Sharpie? Oh, that's not a Sharpie. That was something else. Oh, my God. I should have a Sharpie. I'm quite certain I do. Am I going to have to hand paint my name on her booty or something? Oh, God, I hope not. Where did I put my Sharpie? I know, I saw that thing. I had it. I simply can't keep up with myself. Hi, Crystal. I'm um, girl. I don't lost my Sharpie around this little area. I'm telling you, I swear. I don't know what to do. So I'm going to have to pull down her bloomers. And I'm going to have to use paint. And actually paint my name on her booty. I guess that means I shouldn't use a Sharpie on her, so here we go. 
All right, we got her little tush out right here. There's a little booty. We're going to put my name right across there. All right, so I the sewing machine back. Off. And we're going to do it in pink paint. Now, as you can see, I am not using any kind of pencil. I'm going to freehand paint this. DNA on it. After all, I share Madonna's DNA. That's it, girl. The booty stamp. We're gonna do it in pink. And you know what? Raphael deserves it like that because Raphael has a very large collection of dolls by me. I'm going to do this as beautifully, as eloquently as possible. Ooh, that's a pretty ass on her booty. And see, if you do not, if most people, if I do dolls for other people, I make sure they have a video. Because it's kind of like making your doll immortal. This way you know your doll was hand designed, touched, painted by me as an artist and a professional that I am. Or try to be. You are not going to be able to miss my signature because it's big. And just so you see, that's a hand painted right there. stenciled but done all by hand people respect that more there are a lot of people who like more hand painted okay where's the green because I'm going to make it match your dress so we're going to do pink and green Okay, there we go. There it is. Blue, pink, and green. Ta-da! And original. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> okay, I'm done with her. I'm going to set her up to dry. Bottoms up, girl, so you can try. Okay, so I'm going to end this segment of this video. So she is completed. She is done. And I want to say thank you for joining me. And this endeavor that has been true, a true, true, true labor of love. Now I'm going to work 
on this doll next. She's already holding her buttons and her lace. Yeah, she's going to have beautiful lace sleeves. She's going to have some beautiful buttons on the front part of her dress. And I hope it's going to show up on her dress because her dress is going to be made of this. With the, it's roses with the silver lining. So we have beautiful peachy and silver roses. Very delicate looking. Along with lace sleeves. Um, she's going to have lace on and some buttons down the middle. She's going to be fabulous, darling. It's about down time. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I had to do that. All right. So anyway, um, I will be back on live later. First, I'm going to go ahead and get everything started. I need something to drink. I'm hurt. So yeah. Bye. Well, I have to get it done now so they can be ready for Monday. So that way I can boom, boom, boom. Ship them out. Tuesday, probably.